Hello and welcome. welcome to another video. We are right here in the belly of the beast at Alton Towers for Nemesis Reborn. The opening day was yesterday, however we're here on the Sunday to see what's going on. Is the hype still up to speed? Uh, what's going on around the area? Are the phalanx still out? Is the smoke still on? Is the eye still working? Let's take you along and have a look around. What are you excited for, Sean? I'm just excited to get on Nemesis. I was saying today I've not been in, on it in so long. It, I've forgotten how it feels and everything. So it's going to feel like a brand new ride and I cannot wait. The hype has been amazing. The theming looks fantastic. I've never been more excited to get on a roller coaster in my life. And here we go. On to Nemesis. Let's go. And so we approach Forbidden Valley. This is the moment. And look at that new, brand new sign. What is that Forbidden Valley? They've changed it to the Phalanx facility, but the veins of Nemesis spell out Forbidden Valley over the sign. Look at this. Oh my God. The sign already looks amazing. I can't believe it. And so we enter into Forbidden Valley. Greetings. Greetings. Not seeing him, who's like, that? Like this tall, um, wearing a night guard uniform. <laughs> Not seeing him. Not, I'll let you know if I do. Look out for him. Thank, Thank you. you. Someone's gone missing. Percy apparently. What? Percy apparently. Is that the one from the advert, do you think? Maybe. I think it is, yeah. Maybe. Wearing a night guard's uniform. A night watchman has gone missing two nights ago. There are missing posters all around Forbidden Valley. The phalanx have refused to comment on this situation. So right in the centre of Forbidden Valley where they did used to have the Nemesis gun, they have replaced that with a phalanx facility helicopter. Fully realistic, life-sized, with the propeller slowly turning around. Smoke effects coming out the front of it, as if it's landed or ready to take off. I really do like this, to be honest. They've just done so much to it. It's like, it's like, um, it reminds me a bit of the swarm area, but so much better. And it's like something out of Disneyland. So well themed, look at that. Absolute life-size helicopter. Wish you could go in it, that'd be amazing. The, the sound effects that come from it really do bring this area to life before you approach Nemesis herself. Let's do that. The veins of the monster uh, in and around the area. And of course, now we come towards the Nemesis containment zone where she is situated. Let's approach the beast. She's back with a vengeance. That's the monorail, not Nemesis. Nemesis closed in November 2022 by order of the Phalanx. They told us everything was under control. There appears to be a lot of buzz in the surroundings with teams working excessively to make sure everything is categorised correctly and that it's a safe place for us all to be. It appears now that Nemesis has been angered. People have travelled from across the globe to catch a glimpse of her new awakened state. Take the truth! It's gonna be fellow like 
Here is where you enter Nemesis Reborn. Just for your information, it is 10.31 a.m. and the queue time is 90 minutes as opposed to yesterday's 275 or whatever it was. And now the time has finally come to ride Nemesis Reborn. I can't wait, it looks absolutely amazing. I can't, I can't believe how good it actually looks. Is this the best themed ride in the UK? Yes. There's Easily. No, there's, no, there's, no, there's no doubt. Just look at what we're seeing as we're walking in. It's unreal. It was always well themed, but they've taken it to a whole nother level. It really is. This is Disney or Universal level. Yeah. Right here in the middle of Staffordshire. It's amazing. It's crazy. It's amazing. Well done, Merlin. But we are underneath Shut the track. Up. There is the veins. And it's time to ride Nemesis Reborn. Sean, are you ready? Always. I'm ready. Let's go. Look at the detailing on this station building. I know it was like this before, but the paint job and the refurbishments to it have really give it a new lease of life. Like I said, it's unreal. They've just added little bits here and there, put a massive eye on the front, give the tracks veins. It looks smoother. I'm assuming it's gonna be smoother and better than ever before when I've ridden it. I just, I, I literally, I've, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I've never been more, excited to ride a roller coaster <laughs> and i love roller coasters we are now entering the station this truly is the belly of the beast oh my god wow smell as well yeah the lights those veins pulsating the rags from the ceiling obviously it's his guts or whatever So, Axel, Axel had a very controversial opinion as we got off the ride. Tell him what you said. Just as average as I remember. Average? I can't believe it. What are you saying, Axel? The thing is, I've never been a nemesis stan or nemesis, you know, someone that overhypes it. Yeah, it's got a great layout. It's a great ride. Um, I think coming off it, it was smoother than it ever has been. Um, it was more intense than I remember. I've not been on it in so many years, so I can't remember the ride. I just remember They've definitely done a lot of work on the intensity. I just remember not absolutely loving it. Um, don't get me wrong. It is the best themed ride in the UK, or best themed roller coaster within the UK. But as far as ride experience, for me, it's good, but it's not the one I'd run for at all towers. Okay, it's not my favourite ride on the park. Wicker Man still is. But that being said, this is amazing. What they've done to this ride, they have completely revitalised it and made it a must ride in the UK. I think it's easily the best SLC in the country. And the intensity, the smoothness, the, the speed of it is just perfect. 
Nemesis Inferno was my favourite, but I think the tweaks they've done to this, even though I prefer the layout of Nemesis Inferno, I was feeling things I haven't felt on a roller coaster on an SLC in a few years. And this is amazing. What they've done to Nemesis Inferno is Nemesis Reborn, sorry, is amazing. Here it comes now. You can hear People were talking about the roar still being here on the roller coaster. Did you not just hear that roar that they probably did? That is loud and it certainly is a roar. Now, I mean, in terms of a whole ride package, hey. Nemesis Reborn has the greatest ride package out of the two, if you want to compare. It's got the them. greatest ride package in the country. It really has. However, I still think I prefer Nemesis Inferno as a ride experience. And that's not me, me going against the grain, that's not me being controversial, that's me just being honest in, in how I feel when I'm on the ride. Um, Nemesis Inferno is that fast though that you can't, the Nemesis Reborn is that fast though that you can't really take in what's going on around you. Yeah. Um, but you know, when you're off the ride and you're submerged within the belly of the beast uh, in this Nemesis containment zone, it really is spectacular. It's absolutely something else. The detailing is amazing. The paintwork is fantastic. Yeah. That eye itself, the animatronics, I absolutely love it. I just hope, I don't want to say anything negative, but I just hope um, the, they maintain this as best as they possibly can. So whoever comes throughout the year and the years beyond can experience it exactly the way it is today. Yeah, that being said though, the people amazing. that are running Alton Towers at the moment, I have all the faith in that. And now let's enter Supply Store Bunker 94, which is the exclusive Nemesis Reborn shop down here at Forbidden Valley, where you can buy all of the merch for Nemesis Reborn, of course. Let's head inside and show you what they've got on offer. And after a half an hour wait, we are finally in the shop, currently stood at the massive model of the Nemesis Monster station basically in the middle of it let's take a look around the shop but most importantly show you the prices oh, how much that when purchasing phalanx don't know as much as a pound costs eight pound of human civilization Strength in control. and they've got a wide range of pin badges badges patches for your coats and jackets this phalanx facility budge patches costing around six pounds eight pounds for the pin badges not too bad i suppose and here they've got the john wardley book creating my own nemesis at 12 pounds per item they do have these bags here and i did like the look of them to be honest opens up it's like a book bag but i thought i'd have a shoulder strap so you could put it over your shoulders but it's only got these very small back straps i've looked around and there isn't any prices on these whatsoever so it doesn't look like we'll be purchasing one of those today however no they're all the same would have been nice we do have the plain phalanx t-shirts here reasonably priced reasonably priced at 20 pounds per t-shirt and the same for the nemesis sub terror ones if that's your thing also moving on down here we do have nemesis denim jackets nothing on the back just the nemesis logo on the front and they are 70 pounds 70 british pounds Original Nemesis 1994 t-shirts priced at £22 and look at this shirt I must say that is pretty pretty cool the price of the shirt can anybody guess can anybody guess is 45 what do you think Sean 45 quid for a shirt 
Oh, I've got this. Fair enough. Nemesis Reborn hoodie. To be honest, I do like the design of the veins on everything. It's very marketable. You can do so much with it. We've got a different version of the hoodie up there. Uh, that's a zip up one, but this one that goes over your head, priced at £60. I did see some people online saying 100 That was a misprint. It's clearly £60. And they've got the design that's on the shirt from earlier as a t-shirt, if that's your thing. Again, £22 on the t-shirt. And this cap that does seem to be very, very popular with people with the veins on the side. Nemesis Reborn on the front. And the cups don't have a price on that one, but I imagine they'd be the same price as the 1994 cup, which is 15 pounds. Finally, a zip up jacket. And the zip up jackets are priced at 100 pounds. Just to be clear, a bit overpriced, if you ask me on that. Finally, they've got the standard Nemesis jumper. Again, with the vein detailing on the arms. Nemesis Reborn on the front. It is plain on the back. And the standard Nemesis jumper is priced at 45. However, it is very thick, good quality. We do have a model of the original Nemesis trains in here. And one piece of unique merchandise that they do have are these genuine Nemesis bolts from the old train, uh, old track, whatever you want to call it. And they can now be the yours for the low, low price of £100. £100 for one of those Nemesis bolts. Uh, they do have ones of the Nemesis double bolts, and that is 150, which would look something like this. Let me put that there for you to see. Would you pay £150 for this? Are they just up charging because of the hype and people will pay it? So, there is a hack to this. You just go online and buy a massive bolt, stick it in a block of wood and claim it's a nemesis bolt. <laughs> no one would ever know. That's one way of doing it. And it would probably cost you like, what, five quid? They do have the ride souvenir cups with that rubber part on the top, detailing the nemesis eye at £20 per cup. Engaged. Galactica is still part of Forbidden Valley. Let's not forget about that. It's just at the far back part of it. Do you think it still fits in with the vibe? No. Like it's very, it's a strange separation. However, although I suppose it is, a, it is about a galactic spaceship and Nemesis is an alien. Yeah, so, so they could have Galactica as the ship that is fighting the monster. Yeah, or, or the ship that it survived on, off the back of. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? correct. Could be in the same universe, it just doesn't seem very connected. You did say earlier though know, that you think that they should retheme Galactica and it'll bring back popularity to the ride. Yeah, I think they need to take inspiration from what they've done with Nemesis. With Nemesis Reborn, sorry. Because it's clearly worked. I mean, I've never seen the park sold out before and it was yesterday. The park is extremely busy today and it's a rainy Sunday in the middle of March. And it's, it's buzzing. It's absolutely buzzing. And it's because they've rethemed. And if they did this with every ride every 20 years, then they would get so much more business. It's an investment that's worth the time. It builds anticipation for a ride that you've already had. So you know it's going to be a success because the ride has been a success in the past. And it just reignites that fanfare for it that yeah. wasn't there for the last 20 years because it's just been part of the of the whole experience of the day it's just he's just so easy to do as well i mean it's not easy to do yeah because you gotta like, think of the creative concept etc you don't have to design a new, new ride or anything like that you just have to come to the ride look at what technology can we incorporate now what can we add to make it give it that extra wow factor like a big massive moving eye 
extra smoke and all that. And it's just, it's just honestly, it changed that ride and my perception of that ride completely. And this is the thing, most of the rides were built 10 or 20 years ago and technology has changed and advanced so much within that time. So, you know, by making these small changes, it really does give these roller coasters a brand new lease of lease yeah. of life. Um, and Nemesis Reborn is a really prime example of that. How It was um, a popular ride anyway, yeah. um, but it really does show that it's going to bring all of those people back to it and give it a new lease of life, um, especially for those people that got tired of it, bored of it, or hadn't experienced it yet, is better than ever before. And yeah. I think that the next project needs to be Galactica. Theme it, have it be the spaceship that's fighting Nemesis, or the spaceship that Nemesis arrived to Earth on, you know? Give it some cool effects, and really have it fit in with the vibe around here, with the tentacles, etc and i think it'll be a hit and it'll bring people back to this ride and perhaps reappreciate it nemesis has gone down to a 40 minute queue time that is correct your eyes are not deceiving you it is five past 12 there is still five hours of park time remaining and Nemesis Reborn is on 40 minutes. Back row riders. Let's do this. Woo woo woo. You know, you know it. <laughs> well we just did the back row rider of nemesis reborn and i've got three words to sum that up intensity intensity and intensity that's what i felt must the, agree. I must yeah, agree. the speed of that was unbelievable it's warmed up it's even faster now oh yeah even when you're watching it go around it looks absolutely rapid and you feel every single mile per hour on and that Nemesis ride. Reborn is only 51 miles per hour, but it does feel a lot faster as it's got some forces, especially at the back of the train, yeah. especially now it has warmed up. And with a queue time of only 40 minutes that you would be queuing in the normal queue, I think that is, the reward does pay off right at the end of that oh, when you're on the ride. It's easily, it, for me, it goes Wicker Man, then Nemesis Reborn. Some people might even prefer Nemesis Reborn. It depends what your sort of roller coaster preferences are. But that is by far my favourite. There she goes. My favourite SLC in the country. It's not up against tough competition. His biggest one. <laughs> his biggest one is probably uh, Nemesis Inferno, and it smashes it for me. You reckon? Yeah. I think yeah, they are on par. I mean, when you look at the whole package, as I did say earlier, the Nemesis Reborn is a better ride. But in terms of experience and layout, I just prefer Inferno. However, on the back row, Nemesis Reborn does give Inferno so a really fast. good run for its money. The one thing that I would mention though is. When you are on the back road, there is a rattle that is coming oh, yeah. on that ride. That's going to hurt later on. 
you can hear and feel grrr, yeah. as it goes like round the second half of the ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so give it five years and that's really going to start to show. I don't know where that would be coming from considering it is a new ride. Maybe it's teething problems, maybe it'll smooth itself out over time. Maybe, maybe so. One thing that hasn't returned is the bloody waterfall or the waterfall of blood, however you do want to put it. That hasn't returned. I have heard rumours through the grapevine or through the vein as you might want to say with Nemesis Reborn um, that the blood waterfall may be coming back and they are just working on the water um, emitters or whatever you want to call them. Um, so hopefully that does return. They did just announce Project Sparkle here, so you know, there is more in the works. Yep, more coming this along. Is just the beginning. Can't wait. On to the next thing. And as this is a full review of Forbidden Valley, we must check out the new coffee shop, which does sell Costa Coffee. It is a Ground Command Coffee Outpost that does sell Nemesis Reborn Cupcakes. Let's grab one of them and give you our review. Axel, what are we doing? Getting a Nemesis cupcake. Getting a Nemesis cupcake. In the new Nemesis Cafe. Oh, it's absolutely great. Really good theme. Like yeah. Not too over the top. Obviously, because it's Phalanx themed rather than Nemesis themed. But I like it. I love the detail of the missing police officer from the adverts. Yeah. Love that. And in here is where they are selling the Nemesis Nectar Lager. Only 1,000 cans available. They are limited edition. This is what they look like on the outside. It's just a can with a sticker on it. Doesn't quite say the pricing structure there, but they are. There's only 1,000 of these cans being made. So we've just got ourselves uh, some some little treats from the cafe. We shouldn't really be, should we? Because we're going to Port Ventura next month. But you know, we get our discount, so it's worth it. Oh, we paid 14.60 for a donut, a cupcake, and a Coke-sized can of lager. The can of lager costs seven quid without discount. The donut costs 7.50, and the cupcake cost. Um, 375 which actually isn't that bad. So your donut is more expensive than the can of lager. Than the limited edition can of lager. I don't think 375 is that bad for a cupcake, to be honest, especially in a theme park. I think £7.50 for a donut is probably a bit expensive. And yeah, the lager, I kind of guessed that it would be about £7. Quid. Does that feel the chocolate? Yeah. Nice. So I've re-evaluated and I've decided it's worth a bit more than a fourth. So it's a chocolate sponge base with a black and a red icing on the top. That is so soft, the whole cake just melts in your mouth. Delicious, but a nice luxury treat in Forbidden Valley. And just to cover it, because we will not be going on it, Nemesis Subterra does have a queue of only 20 minutes. So it is open and it's 20 minutes, if that is your thing, because it's certainly not ours. I feel confident in saying it's the worst flat ride I've ever been on in my life. It hurt me so badly that I felt like filing assault charges against the park or ever designed it. It's a violation of my human rights. It's a violation of the G Geneva Convention against torture of prisoners. They trap you in there, they jab you in the kidneys and whip your legs, and it's absolutely brutal, okay? I would highly recommend never going on it. I would highly recommend tearing it down, and scrapping the parts and chucking them into a volcano like you had to do with the ring because it is just pure evil, that ride. Do not fall for the advertisement. Nemesis sub terrible. It is torture. And that brings this video here at Nemesis Reborn, Forbidden Valley to an end. From detailing the massive helicopter to the ride itself, the theming, the eye, the Nemesis Nectar. What more is it to say? The Merlin, everything. everything is absolutely fantastic. Last year was our first year with Merlin annual passes and visiting this park regularly. 
and it really did feel like something was missing from the park because I'd never done a trip to Alton Towers without going on Nemesis. And there was a hole there that wasn't filled, but now Nemesis is reborn. She is back and back with a vengeance and it really does complete this park. And in some ways it's took the ride to a next level so it makes some other rides feel like they need upgrades as well. Definitely. But as I say, it is just the beginning for Alton Towers. It is just the beginning for Merlin. And I, for one, can't wait to see what comes next. Everything that has, that has been done to this area has been brilliant. The actors, uh, the theming, the upgrades to the ride, everything has just been brilliant. Everything's got a lick of paint. Everything just looks absolutely amazing. It feels so much more vibrant to me and it feels more fun a bit more whimsical and just more immersive than it's ever felt before. I think this is probably the most immersive part of this theme park. And, you know, I've often compared UK parks to uh, American parks such as Universal. And this section now feels like it fit right in at Universal. It's amazing. And the only thing they really need to do is update some of the rides around it. So Galactica, you know, maybe give that a bit of a ring theme, maybe even take it all apart and do what they've did, done with uh, Nemesis because it's worked so well, not only just for getting people excited for the ride, but in terms of numbers at the park and engagement on social media, it's gone absolutely wild. It really has, yeah. So, you know, they've got to see this as a sign that this is how to move forward in a positive way. Going, like, you know, they haven't got to come up with all new rides. They've just got to give their old rides a bit of love and people will be like, wow, I've forgotten how much I love this ride yeah so seriously. you know it's uh it's it's brilliant it's absolutely brilliant what they've done and uh you know two thumbs up five stars ten stars whatever you want to give it it's absolutely <laughs> brilliant have you been on Nemesis Reborn if you have let us know in the comments down below what you think do you prefer Nemesis Reborn or do you prefer the classic Nemesis give this video a like if you like what you see Give us a subscribe if you want to see more and hit that notification bell to not miss a video. My name's Axel. I'm Sean. And we'll see you in another one. Bye.